Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So the Glasgow team to play the Bulls. Um, Jamie Batty, number one. Johnny Matthews, Xander Ferguson, Richie Gray, Scott Cummins, Matt Ferguson, Rory Dodge, Jack Dempsey. Backs is George Horn, Tom Jordan, Carl Stein, and is also the skipper. Sonny Tupoluto, Hugh Jones, Sebastian Cancellieri, Josh Mackay. The replacements, George Turner, Matthew Macbeth, Oli Kebble, Max Williamson, Ewan Ferry, Enko Fenter, and Jamie Doby and Duncan Weir. Anthony Brown, can I ask that you start, out, start us off online? Yeah. Anthony? Is that me? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Hi, guys. Um, just, Franco, sum up how big a match this is for you in the context of your time at Glasgow. Yeah, obviously, you know, last year we had that uh, other final opportunity and um, this is obviously the, the pinnacle and, um, of this season. So we're really looking forward to be a part of it. How much do you think you have developed and matured as a team over the past year since the Toulon game? No, no, definitely a lot of lessons learned. I think out of the quarterfinal match last year against Munster at home and, and obviously the final in the, of the Challenge Cup last season, um, you know, we've, we've learned and grown. We've taken some of those um, <laughs> those learnings into our pre-season and we took it through the season, through the whole season and uh, could apply some of them already. So, um, looking forward now to, you know, to face this next challenge, which is obviously the next step for us. Okay. Cheers. Uh, Eve McTeon. Morning, guys. Obviously, it's second final for you, Franco. Third final for you, Kyle. How how do you keep from getting caught up in the emotion of this weekend? Um, I think you just got to, you know, we've got a really clear plan um, and a process that we put in place that's worked for us um, over the last two weeks, and I think it's just focusing on that plan. Um, and not getting carried away, just making sure that you know the focus stays in the moment, and you deal with that moment, and then and then move to the next one. It's again another very consistent team selection. Only changes coming on the bench. Is that, how do you think this has fared you throughout the season? Yeah, well, you know, the um, obviously we have a different objectives during the season. You know, it's about um, getting new players to inter introduced to this level of play. It's about developing the squad, it's about freshness, enthusiasm, it's about managing 20 Scottish internationals uh, to have everybody, it's a long season, you know, if you include the World Cup preparation, these guys have been at it for a very long time, so um, obviously it was all built in um, to place to allow us now in the last part of the season to have the best available team out there to represent a, a very competitive squad. And just lastly for me, you spoke last week, Franco, about playing the game, not the occasion. How, obviously, biggest game of the season this weekend, how do you keep from getting caught up in the occasion this week? Oh, I think we've learned a lot from last week's game. You know, there was 20,000 Irish supporters in, in, at, at Tom and Park and it was uh, could have been intimidating, but I think we've taken a lot from that um, in our um, preparation for this week. We know that we'll face a, a pretty hostile crowd over here as well, and it's it's just double the number that we've we've, we've, we've seen last week. So, but again, it's like the call just uh, mentioned. Now it's just focusing on the task at hand and not get uh, engulfed by the uh, by the occasion. Okay, thank you. It's cool, thank you, David Barnes. Hi, Franco. On on that note about the consistency of the uh, same team for three weeks. Has that been hard to manage in terms of, you know, during, this, during the regular season, guys know that the chance is going to come around. Have you had to manage that this week that, you know, this is this is it and if you're not in, you're not, you, you know, you're not getting a chance to play the biggest game of the year? Oh, I think there was clear comments from the start. They were competing for to play in the final from the start. No, no team in this competition set off just to participate. So the players was clearly communicated to everybody that 
um, everybody's got a chance to play in it and everybody's got to perform at their best. And uh, I, um, obviously, um, I've got a good relation with the players and they uh, under, they would understand the process and the plan. And, and the players that's been selected that's, uh, must take that responsibility on board. You know, they represent more than they're just uh, the club and themselves, also the teammates that you have to deal with the disappointment of not being involved. Uh, Kyle, we've just spoken to Jake White, who was saying that um, when you guys played them in the regular season, it was a different kind of pressure because you, you kind of were looking for four tries because you were trying to get back to the top of the league. This is, you know, win, win, win or bust. You know, doesn't matter. Does that change your mindset coming into this game? Uh, no, not really. Um, look, I think there's there's been a lot of training in, in both teams over the last month. Um, you know, and um, you know we've learned a lot of lessons from our, our trip here the last time and, and matured a lot as a side, but. Um, I think again, you know, it comes down to having a plan and having a process and making sure that you know you don't let any of the external pressures sort of influence that. Um, and yeah, and I think the last two weeks has, has given us a lot of belief in that plan. Um, you know, which gives us the confidence to to back that plan again this week. And in the last count I saw, Kyle, you had twenty five for friends and family coming to support you. Have you managed to boost that number any any higher? Yeah, that's it. Um, I, you know, our operations manager, Pump, um, I think if, if it's not my dad, what's happening to me, what's happening to make sure we've got enough tickets and there's, the requests keep coming in. So I think um, I'm not too sure how many Franco's got, but um, yeah, I think we've asked for over, over 35 tickets this time around. Thanks, Kyle. And Franco. Stuart. Thanks, Gunnar. Franco, Jake White told us this morning that his message to the team, to his team this week, has just been Let's just do what we did last week. Has that been your message, or have you focused more on where there is room for improvement from the Munster game? No, I don't think what we've done last week will be enough to beat the Bulls here. We'll have to make a step up. I think there's, there's going to be a big challenge. We know, I know this. I'm South African. I know their the heartbeat. I know how the blood goes through their veins, and I know how they um, how they desperately want to, to succeed. So. We face uh, another challenge. Um, it's um, it's not. These will be comparables, but we definitely see this as a different challenge. And yes, I agree. We must step up if we want to, you know, to, to be competitive until the end of the game. Duncan, we made a big impact late in the game last time when you played the Bulls, albeit in defeat. Was was his contribution then the reason why he's been selected on the bench this time? Oh, look, the ball flies a little bit further over here because of the height above sea level. And he has that ability to kick a little bit um, from further further out. You know, we uh, against um, against Munster, we declined a couple of opportunities because of the little bit of wind in our face. And you know, it's just George's range is just up to a certain point where, where Duncan's got a little bit more uh, distance in it. And then that's one part of it. Yes, he contributes a little bit immensely off the field and his experience is counting in his favour at the moment. He's been a, a cool eight in a lot of test matches before, so maybe from that perspective, I mean, that, that just gave him the nod there to Frost this week. Thank you. Oh, Grampian? Hi, Franco. Um, it's the last game in Glasgow Colours for a couple of guys, um, George Turner and Ollie Kebble. Do you sense you'll get something special from these two tomorrow? Yeah, definitely from them. I think they would, would love to, you know, leave the, the jersey for the next person and in in a, with a lot of responsibility in it. But uh, yeah, I think we're from our side also. I think the rest of the team is also going to have to step up to, you know, send them off on a proper in a proper way. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, some of that emotion in that, but um, uh, it will hopefully is all channeled into to what needs to be done. Thanks, Franco. Good luck. Cool. Graham McPherson. Hi, guys. Franco, you're, you're a man who always likes to be quite organised. I just wonder how this week has been for you. Obviously, the players coming at different times and uh, not being able to train as much. How have you found that kind of disruption? No, we weren't disrupted at all. So um, it was always the plan to be on Wednesday afternoon. Um, even the last time when we came out to the Bulls, we just came in different flights. and it's, it's, it worked, it's, There was no change in it. It's important fact. Uh, Part of it was that we got here in time to, you know, to do the prep here and have enough time to recover. So, no, uh, um, we have anticipated something like this in the, in the weeks before. So, um, no surprises, uh, nothing that unsettled the team. And we followed the similar schedule and routine that we had when we played here last time. So, a lot of similarities to the boys. And that's basically what the reason for the, 
for the being organized is to give them opportunity to to focus on what's a task at hand and not be distracted by something. So I'm very happy. Um, the preparation and the travel will not be an excuse this week. And Kyle, can I just ask you, is it the same referee as last weekend? Did you have to try and get him on side after the way the match started against Munster? Uh, no, not really. Um, look, I think we, we know that we need to make a step up and you know in our in our discipline and, and the way we started that game. Um, you know, like Franco <laughs> says, it'll be a whole new challenge this week. And um, you know, the Bulls uh, have all the power to make us pay for for mistakes like that. But um, again, you know, I think you can't control you know what the referee feels and, and decisions he makes. So we can only control and you know our actions and, and how we respond to them. So that's where our focus is. Thanks, guys. All the best. Cool. South African media that are online, you'll have one question. We'll start with Ashwak, and then we will go to Morgan, and then we will round off with Simon Rickett. Ashwak? Thanks, Lunga. Franco, have there been extra Afrikaans lessons this week to work out the Bulls lineup calls? Because I know uh, you guys are always a great mauling team. Um, yeah, no, no need for that. I think... Um... I think you know that games moved on to we we'll beyond lineout calls anymore. I think the guys have, it's by the back end of the season. I think it will be uh, it will take more than just understanding what the lineout calls is. Morgan, thanks, Lungo. Hi, Carl. Hi, Franco. Franco, this is not your first final um, at Loftus uh, 2007, if I remember correctly. But how special is this being able to bring a team over? To play in a, a stadium where you actually played as a player as well. Oh, look, it's fantastic. The, the Bulls have was magnificent in my career as a player. Um, uh, I've had uh, fond memories and some of my best friends, you know, came out of that uh, '98 group and that all the period that I've been here. So, um, yeah, it's 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 excellent to come out here. Um, I've been here obviously now a couple of times uh, during the years with the with the cheetahs and and. and with the spring box. So um, seeing love this full is, is always is always special and it's and a special motivation. So um, to share this experience with people I work with um, now currently uh, is, is fantastic. I do feel regardless of the result, um, this experience will will mean a lot to um, my other teams um, you know, experience levels and what they what they can experience and will track me. I still believe that love this is the Best place to play rugby. The ball travels a little bit further. The wind never blows. The temperature is always the same, and the crowd's always enthusiastic. So um, definitely um, a proud moment, but also excellent to to share it with with, with boys that will take it um, on board in the, for the rest of their career. Simon. Okay, Anemi. Thank you, Linga. Um, I just have one question for Kyle. Um, how do you erase the memory of your last visit to South Africa? What would your message be to your team members? Oh, they, this, uh, we, we certainly won't erase it. Um, you know, it was only a month ago, and you know there were lots of valuable lessons. Um, you know that can help us tomorrow. Um, and I think we've we've used that by just trying to take those lessons to make sure that you know we grow as a team and grow with the decisions we make um, and use it as use it as fuel for tomorrow. 